Hey everybody, Nick here, NAM 2022, in a much quieter part of the building, hanging out with my good friend Gabriel Antonini. I just got to look at that. Isn't that nice? <laughs> DPA microphones. There's some really cool things coming out from DPA. One specifically is the microphone he's holding now. It's DPA's kick drum mic. Will you tell us about it, please? Sure thing. Hi, Nick. How are you doing? Uh, this is the DPA 4055. It's a brand new product for us that we uh, sort of unleashed yesterday at NAM. It is purpose built for the kick drum mic and its biggest attribute is that we can now tell the difference between all the different types of kick drum mics. So if you have a Ludwig or if you have a Slingerlin, they still made? They, well, there will be again and they're still around. Right, or, or, a, or a DW or whatever. You now can actually get that DPA accuracy of on and off axis from the microphone. So we really can move it around, get the nuance, and we don't have to rely on a pre-EQ'd capsule like most of the microphones that are out there. Not that they're bad or anything, but they give you one sound. And it tends to make every drum sound similar. And we know, and you know, that they're all different. Besides that, we've, we've um, it's a very uh, a low sensitivity microphone, so it's two millivolts. So it's made to be close and take a punch. It handles at the, at the top end, 164 dB, and 1% harmonic distortion at 159. Is there anything in the world that makes a, that is loud, that, that goes to 164 dB? Maybe you want to step on my cat's paw by accident in the middle of the night. That gets up there, but no. You're never going to hit that, and you're never going to hit the distortion. Another thing that we've done with the microphone is that we have a really great windscreen in here. So if you put it at the point where the wind is really popping out of the, the kick drum hole, it's not going to get distorted. It's going, to, it's going to take the punch, and it's going to be very accurate in the back of the microphone. We've uh, tied off 16 kilohertz, so when the microphone is facing the stage, there's going to be no feedback coming in caused by other things on the stage. So it's very, very, very much uh, highly rejective and a wider pickup pattern. A little bit of side rejection like a first order cardioid and a bit fuller uh, pickup pattern in the rear like a wide cardioid. We call it a open cardioid. That was a lot of information in a short amount of time. but It's a fantastic yeah. piece of gear. Gabriel came to Sweetwater not long ago and did an experiment where he's moving the microphone in and out of the drum, around the inside of the shell, on the front, and it's amazing how the sound changes, but it's always clean and clear with this microphone. It's a really cool new product. And super asymmetrical, so now very lightweight. We can put it inside the hole of the drum and simply move it around and get some angle of the microphone. We can also lock it with this ring, so now we're super locked in. Super light, it's not going to drift on you during the course of the evening or the concert. So, and also the, the inside of the microphone, is, the capsule is lifted. So no vibration from the stage is going to get into that capsule. So we're thinking about everything here because it's in an environment where it's very loud. And when you got a guy like this hitting the other side of it, it's, it's going to sound great, right? So I highly recommend trying it. And with the other 4099s and 2011s on the whole kit, you now have a very nice system that plays very well together. Awesome. Yes. Thank you so much, Gabriel, for telling us about the new microphone. Check it out at Sweetwater.com for sure. Have a great rest of the show. And Thanks, we'll talk sir. to you soon, man. Thanks, bud. Oh, nice to see you. All right. Cheers.